Hello Scorpio, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for you may be dealing with and what they're up to. Or if you're interested in more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel at Val33 Tarot. She's with you as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling their current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> the first energy that wants to make itself known is the moon. I'm like, darkness? Let's see. Hello, darkness, my old friend. That's a song. I'll go ahead and get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. chunk whoa that's an interesting energy um very interesting energy yeah and you know what's fascinating is once again once again i get this message of as i mentioned the first card that showed itself as i was shuffling was the moon darkness and i'm joking about it. hello darkness my old friend i'm getting this emphasis again on the energy of sunset or sundown or the sun kind of going down into what's that called twilight or i forget um darkest was it called it's always darkest before the dawn or i never under, quite understood that fully um which one was which it's like which one's morning which one's nighttime i don't know um, I've looked it up, but I can't remember. Anyways, jumping into this, what they're showing me, Scorpio, right away, there clearly is some type of connection here between the two of you. I do see that it shows up. Not too sure what's going on, though, because I'm a little curious as to how happy, fulfilled, and content they are. Right now, finances are a little bit tight, so there is a bit of a grasp on that. Here's what's interesting. There is some type of closure of a cycle taking place. Whatever this is that's done with or finished they're showing up heavily guarded on the other side of this door. Um, yes, they are wanting to be persistent with some type of endeavor. They are heavily focused on their plans for their future as well as their vision. They're all about taking things real slow and steady right now. And something about the pace of slow, I don't know where this is going. Um, whether it's towards commitment, marriage, that type of thing, or maybe they're learning something about themselves, the situation along the way. But whatever this is that they realize they're kind of on hold or kind of just saying, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me just wait a minute. And I'm like, okay, let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers because I am definitely curious. Who are you? I prefer the shortcut. Devil. Make room. Ain't that a message? The devil, make room. You and me and the. <laughs> okay, um, well, this connection. I do feel this is a connection where. Hmm, yeah, the, okay. This feels like legal matters with this connection. They're, they're showing me connection. Um, they're, they're also showing me this fixation on wanting circumstances to change for the sake of possibly marriage. But it's also got legal matters tied in there somehow. 
And that's what's fascinating is they're, they're showing me a connection, but they're not showing me like commitment or marriage immediately. It's, it's, an, it's like a, they may be doubling down on this energy for the hopes of this, but it's interesting. It's, it's kind of like saying, yeah, I want you to legally get married. But they're in that devil energy over it. And I'm wondering a little bit why. It's kind of like saying they're hoping that, geez, I'm not going to say that. That sounds so fucked up. It's, it, it's, it's an energy of, okay, okay, we'll get married, we'll get married, we'll get married. Okay, okay, okay. It's like, I don't want to get married that way, but you never know. You never know. It kind of reminds me of the little white chapel. Let's go get married today. Just to kind of keep someone quiet. And it's like, there's the lovers. Yeah, goodness. Um, like I said, like I said, it's an energy of, you're going to get married or you're not going to get married. This is an energy of, well, if you're going to do it, you better do it now. And it's sort of like, um, do you really want to marry someone that feels rushed or pressured into doing it? Imagine that. that. That's what causes a toxic situation right there, being pushy or being fixated or obsessed or kind of like what? what's the ulterior motive at that point if you're just being pushy? But what's interesting is they themselves are in this energy. I'm just a little curious as to why they're like, they could go either way. It's almost like they're considering marriage, legal marriage. Then they're also considering like, but do I really? And it's like, okay, well, that, that makes sense as to why there's that. Are you happy or are you not? They've clearly, <laughs> they're clearly thinking about it. But at the same time, there's a consideration of another path of some sort. Yeah, it, it might, what might be affecting them is finances. It could be their career, or their investments. Um, right now, what they're kind of saying is they're not too happy or fulfilled with the way money and, and work is going. Um, I'm a little curious as to, are they considering a different line of work or career path or what is this? Yeah, whatever whatever this closure is, whether it's by their decision or not. Um, again, they're, whatever this closure is, they're having a lot of mixed emotions and feelings. And like I said, that is not an energy of, yay, we're happily married. That's an energy of, uh-oh, what did I just do? What did I just agree to for the sake of trying to kind of like just make something legal in a sense? Um, I don't know. I don't know. There's the moon coming out anyways. Like I said, they are... They're guarded. They are guarded and they do not know what the future holds. And just like that, just like that, like I said... Um, if someone is pushing marriage, they're not acknowledging or considering that other's emotional state in that current time kind of like saying push 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 why are you pushy pushers get pushed and not not in the same direction unfortunately um ah, geez, geez. they don't know what their future holds but they are strongly considering what their plans for the future might be Yeah, they're trying to figure out how to speed things up in their life. <laughs> like I said, this is the equivalent of someone being like, let's get married because I think I'm ready to get married. Are you in love? No, but I just think I'm ready to get married. I think it's time. We should get married. Are you in love with them? Eh, it's a nice uh, it's a nice thing to do. I mean, why not? We've been together for so long. But uh, where are you emotionally at? Not from a mental place of why isn't it happening yet. It's an energy of where are the emotions at? 
don't force it. <laughs> I dragged them down the aisle and told them to get, <laughs> told them to marry me or else. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Unless there was like some type of incentive that was like, ooh, shiny something. I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're focused on work and finance as well on top of this. Hmm. <laughs> Hello there, Crosswatcher. Good to see your energy. Not everything in the pitch black darkness is uh, hidden. And see right through it. Just saying. They feel right now the best thing for them to do is take it slow. That's something that they feel intuitively okay with. They feel like that's intuitively the best decision. Slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are having some type of realization here. And there is also this energy of emotional wandering, emotional questioning, emotional searching. Um... Like I said, they're not too sure where they're at emotionally, and they're kind of choosing to just stay put and wait this out. This is a difficult one. Oh, yeah. They are... Mm -hmm. um, they're waiting. They're waiting. And what, what I like about this energy, though, they're waiting, and they're also saying, I'll wait and focus on me. So I don't exactly know what is going on with this because goodness, that feels like so quite a bit. But of course, if you are dealing with anyone, we do have Taurus, Pisces, Heavy Pisces, Leo, Gemini, Libra, and Capricorn. Goodbye.